anytime. Right into the action right here. MYA versus Air Asia Sign. Let's check out what the bands will be for MYA doing the honors right here. Jawhead the being taken out right fine. here. Jawhead, you know, as we can see, it's, uh, it's very, very, very extremely popular recently and extremely strong with the full damage build. Asia Sign, Logan the Wolverine will be going for the band for Asia Cyan. Rock being taken out right Your there. Team is along fine. with the last band from MYA. And let's not forget I mean I mean Jawhead right now has almost had a hundred percent ban rate I think. Yes. Maybe only like one and two games we saw him being played. Mm -hmm. So any reason as to why uh Jawhead is just such a highly contested ban this week? Is it because of the amount of banning. damage he does yes. or just Yes. It used to be the crowd control that he does and the tankiness, but recently the itemization by the community community has decided that he is the better with damage because he can just instantly take the carries and the assassin out right there and then there you go along with the higher booster and how good ban right there picking. pretty standard so far and let's check out what on the MYA will pick up right here there's no grog there's no higher booster and what mm. will it be right here can you predict Martis oh. I mean it's gonna be definitely gonna be Martis on the side of Asia sign we've seen them pick up the, the cho a couple of times picking. and I've gotta always you gotta always love Eduardo going <gasps> Because you can generally feel, you can generally feel the surprise, and <laughs> we do forget the Selena being picked up right here, the newest uh, mage hero. Okay, so for Selena now, I'm gonna just take a look at her in terms of what she brings to the Your table. Team is so I think that for Selena, she does bring a lot of damage. That's right. And the fact is, with symbiosis, that she's able to basically use her skills to consume marks onto people and do more. Magic damage means that she's just going to be insane. There's a lot more variety of damage on top of the physical damage that follows. That's right. So we do see that Angela is being picked up from the side of King Fredo as well as Solos here. Uh, on the Martis, we do the see Lamar and Padel now picking up the Bane as well as the Cho. Cho. What do you think about the Cho and the Bane pickup? Cho here? has consistently uh, performed well. He, he does he, uh, he does have a 55 percent win rate right there it's one of the top picks of msl and picking up bane is just uh, you know you know topping off the damage right here additional damage uh, bane is one of the top performing uh, heroes in the game right here does have 60 percent win rate right Your there although he was never picking. been banned yeah i mean when we look at it when we look at it overall right we do see that there is a little bit of uh very interesting mix up here in terms of what we've seen in terms of bands, in terms of uh, pickups here. Martis being one of the highly contested bands, as well as Grok, Cho, and Hellcat. We're looking at a Akai and Fanny pickup right here. Picking Fanny to go with the Assassin meta, uh, and also Akai to the, you know to avoid MYA picking up Akai, you know, so that Fanny could fly high for air asia Science. i mean uh, well, all right i like how you did that <laughs> that, that <laughs> plug right there for air asia side i've got to say you're not going to do a plug for honor instead so i i okay now i do like this Benjaha is most likely going to go on the lancelot logan's going to swap uh the martis over onto solos for the fanny so i think this is going to be good well, we're looking. or maybe we might actually see solos on the lancelot mm -hmm. instead and Pajahat on the fanny mm -hmm. Uh, what do you think about MYA's uh, Honor MYA's uh, What's it called? Uh, composition though mm -hmm. it, it looks pretty good mm -hmm. Honor MYA uh, Nina right there Picking up the uh, Natalia right there Being really really brave about it You know we, Honor is all about being for the brave right here natalia you know it's a great pick for honor uh for honor mya but i don't know whether that will work out right there natalia you know being a really fragile hero but it's very deadly right there with the invisibility you know it's the only hero that has invisibility for the whole game so it could be a turnaround right here for mya honor let's go and check out it it is MYA, the match of the century, MYA versus Asia Cyan. Alright, this is gonna be a good one and, and I think that 
we were talking about it. We were asking. I was asking Eduardo whether it was going to be a short game, whether it was going to be a long game, and Eduardo just looked at me and scoffed and said, "Bro, just hang on to your seat Five because we're going to have a rivalry to end all Slash rivalries them. here. Malaysia versus Malaysia. A lot of prides on the all line here. Uh, Mya is definitely not going to. Mya is not going to feel the most out of this if they win. It does actually solidify their spot here. But an upset of Asia sign will actually disturb the equilibrium of the top spot of the standing so it could be something for Asia Cyan to be very wary of here that's right we're looking at a 1-3-1 composition right here it's Natalia with Fanny right here Fanny will have oh the boy. advantage right here as for Nina. there's no invisibility oh, for Nina, Nina goes for right here. the smoke bomb Penjahat has got to go away. Luckily enough, Penjahat was still level 1. If not, still Cable right into the Slash and Dash. A uh, couple with the air superiority passive could have actually ended out. Do enough damage to take out Nina. So, very wise of Nina to actually recognize that and just back away. One minute in and we're looking at a neck-to-neck -neck gold advantage. There's nothing being pick picked up right here. A little bit slow right here for... Uh, on the MYA to pick up their, you know, their buff right here. Asia Sai just walks in right here. Nafara just spots them, and on the MYA goes for the uh, hermit hermit crab right here on the bottom side of the map. There's a small win right there on the side, but Fanny could be oh. Nina just get... tried it, but oh, was lucky enough. Nina was able to get away. If not, I would have walked into a three-man assault. That's over right. Over the top side here. I do realize that uh, coming in from the side of MYA, they are trying to mirror as much as Asia side's movements here, which I like. Oh my god, King Fredo getting caught out here. He still has flicker. He might be able to flicker away. The fight's gonna go breaking up, but it's gonna be first blood going over to the side of MYA. Shadow picking up first kill credits. Will Fredo go down as well? That's another kill from the side of DAs, and it's going to be another one as well. Holy cow! Wow, two minutes in, and on the MYA upsetting Asia Cyan fans, right? here 3 to 1 5.7k gold to 4.7k gold going right for the turtle or after that little win on the skirmish right here we can see the gold advantage just going crazy up and down up and down is it MYA is it ASSI and right now it's on a MYA Fanny going really aggressive into Natalia's uh, jungle right there Solo's on the bot side going for the push but Bane and Cho is there to stop him right now Selena in the middle lane along with a rotation with Asia Cyan trying to determine whether they should go into the mid lane or the bot lane Cho is roaming right here Padel might be getting caught oh, right here Padel's gonna get caught uh, lucky enough was able to shunt away he still has three charges of the Jeet Kundu to help him get away so he might be able to get away safe, but it really depends on how he does it. Oh, nicely done. Here comes uh, Lamau here with the ultimate and a nice spit hitting onto tree. Oh my Oh, goodness. the nice stun on by DAs onto Griggs here and the amount of damage is going to come down. A double kill coming in and it's going to be Fredo and Griggs that get taken down. Wow, Asia Cyan not doing really well in this matchup. It's Malaysia versus Malaysia right here we got another one minute until the next turtle spawns right here we're looking at solo trying to get the hermit crab does not get it for himself bane does get it along with kaya on the bottom side of the map right here i do like the fact that uh, king fredo since solos is able to use his torn rules really well to just dodge the attacks but oh my god look at nina nina who crawls away with a sliver of health Luckily enough, oh, it was the Jahat that tried to throw off as much damage as he can, was not able to successfully translate that damage into a kill, however. Asia Saiyan trying to catch up, playing a little bit of catch up here, but still seems to have the dominance, right? Although they're statistically behind, but does have the aggression to push MYA to their limits right here. They have to be brave right. enough. Yes? No, no, no. I mean, uh, sorry to Turtle cut you off that way, but soon. considering that. Azure Science behind and I mean you put in a lot of hours playing on Mobile Legends, right? right. So as a, as a professional player yourself, I mean a player that's playing on the high elo, what kind of strategy would you tell, tell your team who's definitely behind in terms of stats, in terms of itemization? How would you play this kind of situation? But before that though, King Fredo now in a bit of trouble, Nina will walk away. Like I was saying, please explain to us. You know what, uh, right now, um, 
if if I was in MYA's position, no, if I was in AS, AS, AS oh, who would have thought though, there's a little bit of a skirmish right here. That skirmish was pretty good, Ishiro's teeth was trying to set up that stun, however, not much going to be followed up as members of Asia wow, sign are fragmented. Wow. Oh wow, going to be a big fight here, King Fredo is going to be caught out in the middle. Uh, we do see four members of uh, MYA now pushing it out onto Asia Science turret. This is going to be bad here, it seems like the first turret is going to go down and it's going to be in the mid side. An extra the turret for the side of MYA and it seems that Asia Science tries their best to immediately punish members of MYA but MYA gets away. So like I was saying, uh, what, what would you tell the team, especially on Asia Science side, considering that they're on the back? So they're and going for the objective right here, and also the kill does get the Selena, and also slain. proceeding, oh my goodness, gets the chunk by that the mouse bane right there. But let's see who will... Oh, oh the turtle no. boss over to MYA, very unfortunate for the side of Asia Science, they one ch chance to actually uh, come back into this game by solidified turtle has been stolen away from the from oh, MYA and a kill. mega kill going over to Padel. I assume it's Lamau. This is insane here coming in from the side of MYA. MYA under a new sponsor must be doing really well here. Yeah, <laughs> they got the sponsor of the Brave right here. And honor uh, and honor MYA being really brave facing up to their rivals and they will try to not let this Fanny fly high right here. Fanny tries oh, to go in, but... Oh, that was a nice little lockdown there. Divide oh, is gonna no. go down, and the kill is gonna go over to Nina. Wow. Asia Cyan being behind right now. They should, you know, uh, play a little bit less aggressive, but more of a calculated uh, aggression right here. They should uh, try to steal objectives right here. They do have Fanny that's able to travel with a long, uh, with a very far distance right here. Will be able to steal turrets right there. Top lane has been taken down by the Fanny right here. And then playing with uh, MYA, trying to engage and disengage as well. You know, you buying time the for them to steal the gold back <laughs> from all the MYA backup. right here. Okay, so we do see that over to the bot side, there is going to be a bit of a trap here. Ooh. A little bit of Singaporean style meta and it Four could be ambush. that MYA could spell it off. Padel gets caught up in the middle and there's going to be bad here. The Ace comes in from the back, trying to get the Divide Judgment off. Griggs taking a little bit too much damage here and oh my no. god, Lamau showing the tentacles, showing the octopus of power here. With so much damage, a double kill goes over to Lamau. Three members of Asia Sign goes down. Ten kills are in the pocket of MYA. Only two kills for Asia Sign. What oh is going on? Goodness. Is this real life? Having an eight kill deficit right here. Lord will be spawned soon. This soon. is a very great timing for MYA right here. On the MYA going for the push for the bottom lane Team tier two turret the and also the mid lane tier two turret. You know, the DA is just toying with Fanny right oh, here. Will be, oh, oh my goodness. This is going to be good. There goes the t way of the dragon. Beautifully oh, done coming in from the side of Lamau. Lamau getting in that execute. And man, oh man, is this something else coming in from the side of Honor so MYA? Much, so much crowd control coming in from Cho, from the Akaya as well. Natalia with the silence. And it just enables Selena and Bane to unleash their damage onto Asia. Just, I, mean, I mean, just don't forget as well that... Uh, Coming into this, we do see that the ace as well has been very effective with his divine judgments, with his ultimate on the Kaja, to just lock people down in case the Cho the, the Cho ultimate is not available or Selena is not available to stun. So I do feel that this is very good coming in from the side of Honor MYA. They just recognize what they need to do in some of these exchanges and what they need to deliver to Air Asia Cyan. Now it could be a lot still a lot pick up here for the side of uh, Honor MYA, Air Asia Cyan not too far behind. And even if Asia Cyan decides to contest this, it could be MYA that are able to set it up. Oh, beautiful oh. way of the dragon right onto Logan the Wolverine. Logan the Wolverine takes too much damage there. And Griggs is going to be the main priority here. The, ta the, the, the ultimate has gone down. And Pajahat now comes in. Achilles spree going over to Nina. Nina now has to be the main source of damage. Double Another kill. double kill going over to Nina again and again. It sees the MYA bringing the action towards Asia Cyan. Just like the song goes, bring the action. And it's going to be a triple kill going over to the side of Nina. Nina oh. going to go down, Shut ending down. the spree. Padel, too Your late to come by to get that kill or to come for an assist. Death time is now 20 seconds on the side of Air Asia Cyan. 14 kills, 3 kills for Air Asia Cyan. 9 behind, excuse me, 11 kills behind on MYA. What can they do, Edo? Just 
and then A is just saying thought they could fly high with that fanny pick but all the MYA coming in really bravely picking the Natalia and it paid off for them with a lot of brave plays from DA's pulling that fanny to their side and they are seeing the victory right now they are trying to close the game right now and the Lord the Lord fight, the next Lord fight right here could determine the fight right here. As you sign, trying to hold the line 22,000. They have 22,000 gold on the MYA having, you know, really, really huge advantage right here. The graphs is just insane for an on the MYA. Just goes right, straight right up right here. And we're seeing Akai being caught out right here. Greepax has to get away from that situation. He does not want to be part of this. Natalia on the top side trying to hunt for that landslot. Landslot is indeed in their jungle. A little bit out of position right here. Tries to grab King Fredo but flickers out. The mute is working well for the Martis and Lord. Uh, and it seems like, um, you know, Honor MYA is trying to zone them out right now. I, I do like the fact that Honor MYA is very aware of the of the objectives that they need in this situation. The zoning that's happening is really good. Now that Solos is down, they should actually consider uh, going for the Lord immediately. But they have to be careful because Pajahat, look at that. Immediately, as soon as you see the flag is open, Pajahat goes in just to create an amount of distraction here and a little bit of disarray coming in for the side of Honor MYA. So it's very wise here, but because uh, Fredo was at the top lane trying to get some lane priority, they were able to get the Lord. Not much contested here. It doesn't look very good for Azure side for this game number one. Uh, it is the second last match of the day, so I'm thinking that this is something of. Uh, of a highlight match here uh, to just show that the Malaysians are definitely taking the Malaysian Malaysian rivalry very seriously. That's right, <laughs> MYA right here going for the push in the middle oh, lane. There's Griggs. no backup yet. Griggs now uh, in the middle of it has to be careful. The Lord now being taken down, a little bit of good damage there being thrown out towards oh. the turret. Beautiful stuff. There goes Wave the Dragon, legendary. legendary. Legendary banner now going up, but they, oh my goodness, Mas is now going on. Wow, Ill. Fredo is showing why he is called King Fredo and not Prince Fredo with some really good kills here. But will it be enough? Wow. Nina comes in from the under turret. the guise of invisibility to just basically end that turret with one last hit. Lamau now creating the pressure over the bot side here, trying his best to basically just create this amount of pressure that my uh, that azure sign has to deal with mya now trying their best jihad now taking too much damage has to back away steel cable left steel cable right steel cable up and down is Punjahat. That's right, right here. Natalia going for the buff steal on Ash, the science side, and the map has been dominated with Honor MYA's bravery right here. And right now, Cho is just securing the buff for Selena, and they're just waiting for the next Lord to spawn. Natalia roaming around trying to look for an opening, but does go for the creep wave push. Doesn't matter. Right here, we're looking at the, uh, you know, Ash side trying to group up, trying to get a team fight down for themselves Natalia could walk into a trap right here the ace is really brave right here tries to go in I mean the ace already has a little bit of extra movement speed with his passive and the more he gets hit I think the faster he moves towards the target so he's trying to go for it there will divine judgment actually pull any of them uh, the ace has got to be very careful when he does his divine judgment mainly because of if he pulls the wrong thing he might actually set up an engage for the side of Asia Sire. That's right, that's right. If you pull a tank over, you might be starting a fight for Asia Sire right here, which which is the Akai. You know, the Mardis could be oh, near yeah. as well. Doing it, doing it a very good wow. job here. Uh, very good choice here. They the are turret. setting up and opening up more and more options here. What I feel that is a little bit weird here is Punjahat now going towards the flanks here. I don't understand what's happening for the side of Penjahat. They already are behind in terms of the numbers, so I think that Penjahat should actually consider backing away immediately. If not, the pressure that's going to build up over to the mid side is just going to be too much for the side of Air Asia Science to handle. They do need that. Oh, 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 but we do see a fight is going to be breaking out here. That's where this is going to go, and look at that the amount of pressure that's coming in. Natalia there on Nina getting the kill off on to Pajahat. Now Pajahat is going to come out in the next 40 seconds. It's going to be bad for the side. There goes the way of the dragon right into it but it's not going to be enough. Immortality has come up but King Fredo now gets almost away. The ace now so little health left 
with that little sliver of health, they will be able to get a double, they will be able to get another kill, wow. and that is game number one for Honor M Y A. Wow, what a treat for the M Y A fans right here. Taking.